going on guys it's your boy that red jelly back on the youtube video and today we are going to be taking a look at the matador 64. so the matador 64 recently got buffed along with other pellet shotguns this is a precision frame and precision frames got buffed and a lot of people actually say that this is the best shotgun in the game now because of the changes now the role we have on this shotgun isn't really that great uh this is a one out of five in my opinion we got lead from gold swashbuckler light mag and rifled barrel now uh smooth bore is also on here too but smooth bore is probably the worst barrel in the game right now smooth bore is dog shit and uh if you only have smooth bore on your on your on your shotgun or a different perk then just use the other perk over smooth bore smooth bore is the worst barrel in the entire game like i cannot stress this enough do not use smooth bore on your shotguns. It is a waste of time. Like you will not get one tap kills with this per uh, with this barrel equipped on your shotgun. It is terrible. Do not use it. Now moving on from that, uh, like I said before, the roll is pretty terrible. This is a one out of five. Uh, I would drastically change every single perk on this shotgun. That's how bad the roll is in my opinion. The reason why we're reviewing this shotgun is because, like I said in the intro, uh, precision frames did get buffed. And also, the AE changes have now gone into effect a couple weeks ago. So this means that you can actually jump in the air with your shotgun without any limitations whatsoever. So, for example, if I'm fighting another player inside PvP, I can literally jump up in the air with my shotgun and I can kill them instantly because of the AE changes. Now... What also changed about shotguns now is that you can actually slide without any limitations as well. So, what that means is that uh, once before, if you were to challenge someone with a weapon, no matter if it's a sniper or a shotgun, if you slid in the middle of a gunfight, then you would take 20% more stability and 20% more flinch. It'll also be plus 20% shotgun bullet spread whenever you're sliding with a shotgun at that time but they literally took out every single change that the uh slide nerf had so you can freely slide now which is kind of crazy in my opinion but yeah bungie did blow their load with the shotgun buff i feel like that a lot of people is going to be sliding around corners with shotguns now like it was before before they even introduced the ae and flinch nerf and all that stuff towards sliding and whatnot so this is going to be a problem again but I don't know, I just don't know why people call this shotgun meta. But yeah, we're going to be pairing it with the Hawkmoon hand cannon, the Blast Batute, Aphidian Aspects, and Voidlock, Nova Bomb, Cataclysm. This is the slower version. The, the more lethal Vortex version is down here. We're not going to be using that in today's video, though. We're playing Warlock today, which is not my best class. I'm not really good on Warlock. And, um... This is the only class that I want to use in today's video because um, I want to, you know, use Warlock more. I want to get better with all three classes instead of using one class in every single video. So we're going to be using more classes when Lightfall drops and all that stuff. We're going to be expanding our weaponry more often now in, in you know, the, in more upcoming videos and stuff because I'm tired of using the same class in every video. But yeah, I've been using Dawnblade more and... Uh, Let's just say that I'm not really good with Don Blade. If you're enjoying today's video, so far, all, come subscribe and let's get right into it. All right, y'all, we are playing on a uh, what is this? Uh, this is Radiant Cliffs, right? What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? I, I can never, I can never uh, name the map or this map for life. I do not remember the name of this map. At one tap them. There we go. No! He's waiting too. I'm so. Oh, whoa! He just scared the shit out of me! There 
There we go. Yeah, I'm just gonna stay here, wait till he pushes up. Idiot. <laughs> I'll wait until he pushed up too. I knew he's gonna push up. That's to say if I got sniped I would have been very upset I don't like getting sniped if it's not me sniping anyone then uh what's the point of sniping no why do you bro come on come on come on come on bro come on bro come on why does it always got to be me that gets solo stupid in every single YouTube video bro I don't understand it get out of here let's go Ah, oh, I couldn't even pull out my shotgun for the triple. Unfortunate. This guy. This guy. He pushed, if he pushed through the door, I'm capping him. Okay, never mind. He's going to stay here. That shit, bro. Knock it off with these bows. No. He's. Yes. I got him. There we go, teammate. Let's go, give me that uh, shotgun kill. Ooh, that one second from that far? I'll take that, baby. Oh, I put the rift up too late. Okay, he's dead, but... Oh, let's go. The feeding aspects are so balanced. That guy is lagging his ass off. There we go, we got the double. We dropped 29 opponents. Very good game on our part. I did not think it was going to play that good, but it was a good game. All right, so the Matador 64. This thing is pretty good. It's just I don't have a good roll. That's the only thing that's keeping this shotgun, you know, out of my hands right now. I don't have a very good roll with this shotgun. If this shotgun, um, if I had a better roll with this shotgun, this would definitely be the best pellet in the game. But to me, I mean, it's a pretty good shotgun. It can one tap from far ranges. But in my opinion, I just rather use a different shotgun. I don't want to say that this is meta because I'm not trying to, you know, meet ride other YouTubers and all that. Because other YouTubers say, oh, yeah, this is, yeah, this is the best shotgun in the game. No, no, no. There is better pellets in the game. This could be the best shotgun in the game, but it's not. It's, it's up there, though. It's up there. It's not up there where, you know, the 7 Serif shotgun is or where the, uh, the lightweight craftable shotgun is the without remorse. It's not up there with those shotguns, but it is pretty good. And just like Fractatus... This is the same as that archetype as Fractus, but Fractus can roll better perks. This cannot roll better perks. Yes, you can get opening shot and perpetual motion on uh, this, but you can't get that on Fractus, and that's the only thing that's lacking that. Um, you can get opening shot, but I don't think you can get perpetual motion on Fractus. So this does win in that department, but there are better perks on that gun than this, so... I would much rather grind a frag, but you technically can't even get it no more. The only way you can get this shotgun is if you uh, farm the hell out of the ogre encounter and the final boss encounter. That's the only way you can get this shotgun through Grass of Avarice. But yeah, if you enjoyed today's video, like, comment, subscribe, and thank y'all so much for watching. I'll see y'all guys in the next video.